So without going into a full video production suite, we can actually make some of these changes right inside of Photoshop. So without leaving the design premium or the web premium suites using Photoshop Extended, we can come in here and start to make some design changes to our video. So I'm going to start by grabbing the movie trailer.mov and dragging and dropping it right on top of the Photoshop icon. I'm going to choose hide others so we can see just the Photoshop application. So now in here I'm going to open up the window menu and bring up the animation panel. So new in Photoshop Extended is this animation panel that gives you two choices. One, a cell by cell based animation which was first found in ImageReady and in Photoshop CS1 and 2. And then in Extended we have this new timeline control which has a lot of the same sort of effects and look and feel as After Effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is in the Layers panel, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Let's add Hue Saturation. I'm going to scrub the timeline out in the animation panel here, and let's go to this frame where we see her in the car. So this looks pretty dark. So we can start to adjust video the same way we would adjust photography. So maybe we want to saturate this a little bit more. Let's also come in at a levels adjustment. Let's pull the center point up here so we can see a much clearer vision of her. And now this adjustment layer is global to the entire video. So since the whole video is dark, these level adjustments are going to be global to the whole image. So that looks really good. Let's come out to those frames that have the smudge on them. But right here, there's four frames that have smudges, starting at 48 seconds and one frame. Click the next, two, three, and four. So these four frames have a smudge on them. I'm going to select the video layer. Let's come over here to Photoshop's Spot Healing Brush. Let's zoom up on this video. With the video layer selected, we can actually use the Spot Healing Brush just like we would on a photograph. So we want to increase the brush size to something that's just going to encompass the smudge. It's going to simply click and let go, and Photoshop's going to clear out that entire area. Let's click Next Frame. Get this in place. Click. Next Frame. This is the third frame that has the smudge. And the fourth frame. Now if I click and scrub the video, we can see all of those smudges are now gone. So those are two things we fixed already. We fixed the darkness of the video and we actually fixed that smudge.